Man, that sucker was tough. I had to shoot him three times. Heavy too. Look at there. You can still see the red mark right there where I shot him at. He's, he's got a bloody hole in him. Right here is the deal where I drug him out of the woods. He's good to go though. Had to shoot him three times. Now, I lied to everybody and I said that I was going to do him in an oven bag with some pineapple. I lied. I didn't get to the store. But we're going to do things different as usual on my end. And uh, I'm going to butter him up. This butter has been sitting out for, I don't know, long enough to get soft. And we're going to butter him on the inside and the outside. He's dry. And what you want, this butter makes all your uh, spices and stuff stay on. Man, it must be cold outside because this turkey, he must have been breathing hard because he still froze from the inside out. Half a stick of butter on the inside. Make sure all your spices and everything are sticking to it. And uh, my prepper angel out there in Northern California. I'm going to use some of the spices that she sent me that I like. And we need to get under that skin right there. And put that butter way up under there. Let me rinse my hands. This is going to be a 15 minute video. Now, the water's hot. Now what are we going to do different from everybody else? I have no idea. A little later on I'm going to put some chili powder on top of it. But right now, I've got a little bit of oregano. Which I thought might be a little different. And uh... I don't know how this is going to work out, but it is one of my favorite spices. And this is my cumin. Pure seeds. We're going to put some in the turkey, underneath the skin. And uh, it gives it a whole different flavor. And of course, my favorite is a little bit of garlic powder. And they're going, oh my God, he's ruining the turkey. But since I'm the turkey that's going to be uh, eating this, I'm putting it on what I like. Now, I'm going to put this in a 200 degree oven I'm going to put foil all over it, put it in a 200 degree oven and it is 5 o'clock Eastern time on what's today the 26th I think it's Tuesday so yeah tomorrow's Wednesday, Thursday, Thanksgiving and I'm going to put this on 200 degrees 
actually about 275 I guess as long as it'll heat up and I'm gonna cover this in full put it around tight I ah, hang on I'll get the bowl and do it in front of you oh That little one I done here today, I got it all covered with one piece of foil. I don't know if this one's going to cover or not. Oh yeah, we'll be all right. When you cook a turkey by the directions, it tells you 350 for. 20 minutes per pound for however many hours. Well, this one's going in for about 275, and it's going in for about 14 to 16 hours. And when I get up, it will be brown, it will be done, and it will be falling off the bone. I didn't put any. Uh, water or juices or anything in there but since you got her sealed up real good with aluminum foil it will be fine this is a 10 minute turkey what does it come out I'm gonna pick off the bone and uh, put it in baggies uh, I don't know we might even dehydrate some see how that turns out but country men after now you see how I done my turkey uh, Yes, it's different from everybody else. I never claim to be normal. God bless, and if I could do it, anybody can. Hey, y'all, countryman here. My turkey's done. It went from about 3 o'clock yesterday afternoon till about 2 o'clock this morning. Uh, I had to get up and take care of some things. Uh, and uh, I came in and I checked on it. It was done. So I turned it off. It's still warm after another six hours sitting in the oven, but let's take a look at it. It's not purdy and everything, but uh, it's tender. It's falling off the bone, and it's done. It's nice and brown. The leg over here is completely separated. This one's not separated, but it's done. And look at here, the bullet came out. Uh, next year, I'm going to remember to take off the uh, tie there that uh, when you drag it out of the woods. But this is a good turkey. It's 18 pounds before I started. I have enough juice in the bottom of this. I am going to save it and uh, make me some gravy probably. Uh, most of it is just uh, looks like a lot of fat. This is a fat bird. And I am going to start eating. The, today's Wednesday, the day before Thanksgiving. But I uh, plan on being in a diabetic or a turkey coma tonight and all day tomorrow. So I hope everybody has a happy Thanksgiving. And I hope I can turn this camera around to where you can see me. Let's get rid of these lights. Now it's too dark. But uh, I'm in the kitchen. And I hope everybody has a happy Thanksgiving. And uh, may God bless you and your family. And... I'm home alone, but I have all of you guys. I have my turkey, and uh, I even received another blessing from God when I got up this morning. Actually, two. One I'll tell you about, and, and the other one I won't. Uh, it's personal. But uh, the one I did get, 
is we have a good six inches of snow on the ground and it's still coming down everything's nice pure white clean outside and uh, the blessing I received is not outside it's inside I have a turkey I have a warm home I have friends that care about me and I am thankful for all of them I'm thankful for Jesus Christ that died on the cross for my sins I'm thankful for everybody that uh, on my YouTube channels and Facebook I'm thankful for my families and uh, I'm thankful for people who have taught me how to live frugal and prep ahead and it's the end of the month and most people on a limited budget would be skimping and here I am I'm eating a turkey and I may call me a taxi cab. The sale's still going on. For one more day, I can get those turkeys for 58 cents a pound. I may go down there and check on it. Until then, God bless from Countryman's uh, Mansion. And uh, I'll see you another day. God bless. Want to know why I'm fat? It's because I can cook. I got me a big old turkey leg. Don't need a fork. Falling off the bones. This is a big turkey. I'm going to make me another turkey wing turkey call. out of the wing bones maybe two and I am going to sit here and watch movies all day and eat my turkey a day early this is my gift to all you guys my spices turned out good and uh, I don't even remember what I put on there but it turned out good oregano and garlic and uh, I was going to go back and put a little bit of chili powder on it, but I didn't. This is a very tender bird. Came out very tender. Low and slow is the best way that you can have to uh, cook your bird. Uh, and I know they want you to go 350 for so many hours on it. They want the temperature high because of all the bad things you can catch. But uh, low and slow until the popper pops completely out is just as good it's uh i wished i had a hole to dig dig a hole and put mine in and smoke it for like 12 to 14 hours when you take it out it just falls off the bone and uh it's smoked we used to wrap it in aluminum foil real loose wrap it in a tote sack wet it down drop it down into a hole that was five foot across, six foot deep, and had three foot of wood in it, and then suspend the turkey over the wood for about a foot, and then put tin on top of the hole, and bury the tin until there was no more smoke coming away, and then drink beer for 12 hours, and come back. By that time, you were so hungry, and inebriated that you needed a good turkey to wake up but the turkey just filled you up and then you were drunk and uh, in a turkey coma and then you went and passed out those were the good old days countryman out for now and uh, I'm gonna eat my turkey thank God for all the things I had and uh, all my friends and I just want to say I love all of you and have a very happy Thanksgiving. God bless.